Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Aria. You are watching the Aria Lifestyle. This video is a tablescape video where I am going to dress a table and you follow along and I hope you are inspired. The tablescape that I've done today is called, let's say, to dine for. This week's table is called to dine for a tablescape. Okay guys, it's a minimalist table with some pops of black and gray. I really hope you enjoy it. This video is a part of the series Tablescape Tuesdays and this happens every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central Time. If you are interested and you are dressing your table and you would like to be a part of the series, all you need to do is to hashtag Tablescape Tuesdays 23. And your video will come up in that playlist with all the other talented content creators that are a part of this series. This series is hosted by the Grace Live DIY and Home Decor, as well as Amethyst Adventures. I have started doing this and I would say to everybody, I became addicted. So every week I take part in Tablescape Tuesdays. It's a beautiful series. Anytime you're dressing a table, it's an open collab. Feel free to be a part of it. Okay, so if you are here for the first time and you are not yet subscribed to the Aria Lifestyle, I invite you to subscribe. Become a part of the Aria Lifestyle family. Okay, guys? And also follow me on other platforms. Instagram, it's the Aria Designs. TikTok, the Aria Designs. Pinterest, the Aria Designs. Okay, guys? So on this channel, where it's a little different is that I get to express more. It's a lifestyle channel. So I have videos that are fashion, fitness, beauty, home, home, home. Anything in a home. So like cooking, home decor, and just pretty much anything that's Aria's lifestyle. I hope to inspire guys. I hope to motivate. Okay. So with no further ado, let's get into this video. Okay. So first things first, I normally clean this table and I while I'm cleaning it, I'm wondering, should I leave it bare? Should I cover it? But I think I am going to cover it so that I can actually show the color highlights that I want, which are the blacks and the grays. Okay. So having white as the backdrop seems most appropriate for the outcome that I would like for this table this week. Okay, so I'm going to start out using my my black placemats and I'm going to layer it. Most of my layering today will happen with the placemats and the chargers because I'm keeping the dinnerware really, really, really basic. Okay, the feature today and the inspiration for this table are some plates that I got at Ross that to me scream minimalism and I fell in love with them and I wanted to create a table that would highlight them so I didn't want anything to distract from the simplicity and the beautiful structure of these plates simple but to me beautiful and I hope you will find it the same way typically when I do my tables, I show you how I do my place settings from one angle, but I'm going to show you from both angles today. So this is the far side that I'm showing you. I'm playing seeing the black placemat. Then 
the gray one and then I'm going in with this white one I spray painted that one white it was originally gray and then I'm using um, towels kitchen towels that I got from Burlington and then I'm going ahead to place a salad plate one when I say salad I mean it's good for salad and then here is my feature plate which is the dine plate and that is what inspired the to dine for name of this tablescape today please do not mind the placing of my spoons i i promise i will correct it by the end of this tablescape <laughs> So here I am I'm showing you the place settings from the section from the angle I typically do and I'm showing you all these layers that I have in terms of the chargers so I'm using the black charger I'm using that gray charger I got from Burlington I'm using that white charger that I got from the Dollar General and I am placing my beautiful dine plate that I got from Ross that is the feature of this table today um, the silverware that I'm using this week are a gunmetal black I really love how they look and I am using all the parts that I got for sections and I have gotten the cutlery in the right place this time around so yippee I got that right and I love the black tone of the silverware I think it falls beautifully in my minimalist theme I am also going to use um, simple glassware as well as a goblet Most of the times, guys, my tables are fit for two, fit for that romantic setting. But of course, you know, being inspired by this table, you can always expand it to a full dinner layout. And here are some white florals that I got from the Dollar General that they're $3 for the tiny bunch. And I'm using just two in this um, vase that I have that I spray painted black and here I'm going to feature my plate <laughs> that is the inspiration for this table I'm using an easel to mount it so that it is visible if you are creating a table that is multi-dimensional I would suggest here is a spray painted simple vase that I also put some tiny rosebuds white tiny rosebuds in there and here is a spoon holder that I'm using decoratively for the center of the table along with my happy Easter um, acrylic eggs so guys as I was saying I used an easel to prop up that plate I was trying to find my other easel I have two like that but the point is I was going to just use the other easel to put to the other side, backing each other so there's a multi-dimension.
here are some gray ceramic bunnies that I got from Target I will be putting them also in the center to bring up that gray element that I desire for this table so as I was saying the easel in the middle if I had found the other easel in time I found it after I dressed my table but the point is you can use another easel backing that easel um, and put another dine plate on there I have four of them so the idea is to have the plate displayed on both sides of the table okay so that's the whole point and there ends the dressing of my table guys so thank you guys for staying with me to the end of this video I actually recorded my outro before and i had to change it because when i finished dressing this table it took a slightly different turn from i expected so the name of this tablescape this week is to dine for tablescape okay and you will see from the plates that i've used why it has that name thank you for staying with me to the end of this video i really appreciate it and i hope if you are not yet subscribed you will consider subscribing if you have made it to the end it means there's something here that you like okay looking forward to the new subscribers guys don't forget to hit that notification bell so whenever i do upload new videos you will be notified love you guys peace out let's get ready for the reveal